I'm just going to talk about how to upgrade iOS on Cisco routers using TFTP. Uh, I have this topology here. Uh, I have R1 connected to TF a TFTP server. So um, there is some iOS images on this TFTP server that, I mean, I can copy one of those from, from the server to go into uh, R1. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. And, and of course, upgrade the upgrade R1. Um, so this is this procedure. I got this procedure from this link. If you want to check it out, uh, you are free to do so, of course. But let me see. Let me just follow this procedure. I, I kind of uh, modified it or added some uh, things that I think I should, um, uh, that is useful actually. So here, um, let me just show you the, this is the document that I got from cisco.com. And yeah, so step one is select a Cisco iOS software image so I actually have this link here. I already opened it. Um, and basically I already selected the router and the image. Image. I mean, I have not selected the image yet. Um, but yeah, so you can download the, the one that Cisco suggested. And in this case, uh, they are suggesting two images. This one and that. That would be the latest one and this one. And yeah, download it to the TFTP server. And identify the step three is identify the file system to copy the image. So in this case, I have this, I have router one or R1. Yeah, R1. And I can just uh, do show file system. So it will show us uh, the the uh, file systems that you have on this router. So you have flash zero. I think the, these are just the same and you have NVRAM as well. And prepare for the upgrade. So you have to, of course, back up the configurations. And if the router has sufficient storage, just copy the new image and do not delete the old one, which serves as your backup. And then, of course, this is something that you don't have to do, but because you, of course, before you attempt to You know, uh, set up a TFTP server. I mean, usually in production environment, you know, the the router can usually, right, ping the the TFTP server, right. But it's good to always verify. So I can just, you know, go to our R1 and just ping the TFTP server, and that is the IP address of the TFTP server. And R1, of course, is dot one. Let me just uh, as well, might as well show you the configuration of the TFTP server. Config TFTP server, TFTP server. And here, yeah, dot two. And this is the subnet mask, and this is the default gateway. We don't have to to, uh, to add DNS server. And then, yeah, step six is copy the image to the router. So there's actually two ways to do it. One is to do it like this, copy TFTP. So this is the source. Uh, source location yeah the source location and 
the destination is question mark copy to yeah copy to flash and then type the remote address or host and then type in the I can just copy the uh, this case I'm going to copy the TFTP serv services choose TFTP and then I'm going to copy this one you can just uh, control C and then go back to the router oops I have to press enter and then that that's uh, one way to copy an image from a TFTP server to a router um, so type in TFTP IP and type in the file name which is the same as image name okay I'm going to actually cancel here because I want to try this I want to try this uh, this command so copy TFTP see if this works and then flash no not working uh, th uh, this iOS or packet tracer this version of packet tracer doesn't support this particular command so uh, I will go back to using this okay flash type in the IP address oh that's not working yeah you have to enter and then the source source file name is this destination file name would be the same so hopefully it works And I think that is wrong. Yeah, that is incorrect. Let me, because the iPad is actually that too. Not that one. That one is that one is the router itself. Let me do it again. Copy TFTP flash with this. Oh, 192, 168, that one, that one. Oops, I did it again. Got two. Yeah, enter. Okay. So, of course, before you upgrade the the image or your iOS you have to verify your existing one right so existing one is that that is the version this one actually and I can do that so current version is dot one fifty one that is the current version uh, no, 15.1, 4M4, but that's the image uh, file. So we're going to upgrade it to this, which is more 
updated. So we have the image file on the flash. So next is, yeah, that's, that's how you verify it. So yeah, Packet Tracer, this version of Packet Tracer does not support uh, the verify command to validate that, you know, you have the, oh, you have the correct file. <clears throat> and actually, let me show you this because this is uh, important. So yeah, this is the, this is an example command here. So what you are doing here is basically just uh, making sure that the file that you have copied to your router is not changed or something. And that's the one that you actually downloaded from Cisco.com. So yeah, you have just, you just have to match the MD5 hash that you got from uh, after issuing this command and you can verify the same MD5 hash. Am I saying it correctly? On or MD5 checksum on uh, uh, Cisco.com, and this is this is an, this is an example of a MD5 checksum value here. And yeah, that's how you verify. And I got a note here: place the cursor over the file you want to download, and this gives additional file details, which includes the MD5 and SHA. Five tail checksum. Okay, and next is verify the configuration register. Of course, uh, this one is this is the correct uh, configuration reg configuration register, the one that ends in two. That's looking good. And verify that. And verify and configure the boot variable. So I can do that as well. So in our case, no boot system commands yet. So I can just copy this and paste it here, in here. And do that command again. So yeah, so the expectation is router is going to load this uh, image file and then if it fails it will load the the current one that's what we have in our flash as well here so that's a good way to have a backup image just in case the the one that you just unloaded or you are currently uh, you are using to upgrade the uh, the router is uh, uh, will fail, yeah, just in case it will fail. And then save the configuration and then reload. Confirm. Okay, done. Show version image. So yeah, now we are using this uh, image file and the version would be this, which is correct. What I should say version as well. Version. Yeah, version and image file. Let's uh, let copy this as well. Okay. Image. DIR. Okay, looking good. Um, so that's how you can upgrade an iOS on Cisco routers using TFTP.